Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, and in this Blender tutorial, we're going to create a basic shape and then repeat this multiple times around in a circle. So this is something that looks pretty simple, but it's actually quite tricky to do unless you know the techniques. And um, we're gonna be using array modifiers and simple deform. So if you've heard of that before, great. If you haven't, don't worry about it. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to do this. Now I've also got a free Blender course on YouTube and it covers the basics of just making shapes, adding materials, doing lighting cameras, that kind of stuff. So if you'd like to check that out, I'll put a link in the video description. But anyway, let's hop into Blender and get started. Right, so we're now in Blender and we have the default cube, but let's press X to delete. And then I can just go and hide the camera and the light. We don't need those. So first of all, I'm gonna press Shift A. We're gonna to go to Mesh. We're going to add a new cube. I'm gonna press S for scale and scale this along the Z axis. Press S to scale down and drag and then S and Z again to scale up. There we go, we've created a post, excellent. Right now what we can do is go over here, this is the modifier panel, and let's add a modifier. We'll add an array, and we can increase the count. And if I just zoom out a little bit here, I can increase the factor on the X axis, and you can see it spaces them further apart. So we have the X axis, which is the red line, Y is green and blue, which you can't actually see, is the Z axis, that's basically up and down. So I can adjust the count. Now you can see it's moving in quite large increments. If I hold shift on the keyboard and click and drag on the value, it, it moves slower, as it should do. Let's zoom out a bit further. And we can do the same here. It probably works, there we go. It works a bit better for the factor because we're moving in values with a decimal place. So let's go and create, we'll go with, I think 30 for the count. So we'll copy this 30 times. And then the factor, I'm gonna bring these a little bit closer together. So that's really cool. And we could do this in different directions as well. We can go on the Y axis, the Z axis, you see, we can go, we can go all over the place, up, down, everywhere. So that's cool, we're going in a straight line now, but let's go and add another modifier. Let's go and add a simple deform. And I'll just collapse this one down here. And we've got twist, bend, taper, and stretch. And I can increase the angle. So let's just bump this up to 103. And you can see it does all sorts of weird and wonderful things. We can taper this as well. And you can adjust the factor. So these are very creative and you can even change the axes as well. That looks awful. I don't know what that is, so we'll just move on there. Again, awful, we'll go back to the X. So you can play around with these and create lots of different effects, but for this one, we're gonna be using a bend. And if I go and bump this up a bit further, you can see the X axis is not really doing anything that we like, not really. Y, let's try that, oh, equally bad. Z, oh, hang on a second. We're going around in a circle, okay. So let's zoom in a little bit closer. Now it's not quite complete because I need to bump the angle all the way up to 360 and boom, there you go. So now we can bend this around the Z axis in a 360 degree angle. Now, of course, you can see here, we've got a bit of a problem. The, the starting point is kind of overlapping. So what we can do is hold shift on the angle, click and drag, and we can just space that out a little bit further so they're all equally spaced apart. So there we go. Now, if we expand and go back to that array modifier, we can adjust the count. And I will need to correct this one bit over here, but you can see, you can adjust the size. In fact, if we zoom out, we can actually go, we can make a spiral. We can go on all sorts of different axes here. We can mess around with these and go, whoa, up and down. So this is pretty cool, uh, slightly unnecessary at the moment. But another way that you can do this is if we press tab to go into edit mode, A to select the entire post, and I'm gonna press R for the rotate tool. I'm gonna to rotate on the, whoa, on the X axis, and I'm gonna press 90. So it rotates at 90 degrees. Now you can see we've got something very, very different. Let's press tab to come out of edit mode, and let's try something a bit more creative. Let's see if we can go up, increase the count, So if I were to go and type 
Let's type 90 for the angle. And then play around with these values a little bit. There you go. You can see we've created a very, very large staircase. So let's bring this down to, we'll go for 30. There we go. We've got a much smaller staircase now. So this is great for repeating objects around in a certain way, like a circle, but you can also use this to make stairs. Now let's bring these a bit closer together. Just holding shift, clicking on that X value and dragging. Use the Y value to go up. Bring them closer together. And uh, there we go. We now have a set of stairs. And if we select this, let's bump the angle up even more. And you can see we've created a uh, somewhat terrible spiral staircase. Hmm. Yeah. And there we go. That's the array modifier and simple deform that we've used to rotate the shape in a circle and then create a spiral staircase as well. Arguably a terrible staircase, but this is a pretty good starting point. And if you know what you're doing, then uh, you can use this to create some pretty cool results. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, you got the old like button. You can leave a comment down below if you've got any questions. Take care and I'll see you next time. And there we go. There's a look at the array and simple D4 modifiers. I hope had a had a had a had a had You can leave your head You got the old like button if you did. Oh, that was a terrible click. Take care, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Brain malfunction.